Greetings from James Wright Cars and today's video is this 2016 on a 16 Mercedes E220 CDI AMG Line Edition Premium. This car has done 47,700 miles and it's accompanied by a very good service history and indeed we have just serviced it. You can see it here with the roof down and it is a pretty, pretty, pretty car. I'll open the, the boot here and have a quick look inside and you have got under that berthboard there you've got the add blue tank there that's just been recently refilled but also if i push that out of the way when the roof's not down it gives you a much much bigger boot we've had the aloe wheels redone on it because they were a bit chewy so they've all been shot blasted and powder coated and it's had new discs and pads this is the near side rear near side front offside front and offside rear unlocking the car will flash its lights and fold its door mirrors in and if i jump in the car and start it up you'll see it has these uh, signature lights and uh, it's they're all uh, also led as well for all the world it looks like the rear seats have never been sat in but if i plug in the uh, rear seat belt there you can see that the headrests come up automatically and the uh, wind deflector here in the event of an accident if this car were to roll over these would pop up and the car could be supported to lock the vehicle, once you've got it out of it, you just press your thumb or finger against the handle and it locks and folds its door mirrors in. To regain entry, all you do is you put your hand in the handle and it'll open itself up. On the driver's door, you can see it's got Harman Kardon sound, it's got memory, driver's and passenger seats, and also controls there to fold the electric door mirrors in. The overmats, as you can see, and they're, they're, they're new. They came with the car and they've never been used. The condition of the leather, the driver's seat's also very good. But it's also got all the massage functions here for both the driver and the front seat passenger. The equipment list continues with heated seats in the front and it also has air scarfs, so this blows hot air on your neck, which makes it rather nice in less than hot weather. Rear parking sensors operate here, so if we back up to this wall here, you can see that the rear parking sensors are shown in the rear one and we've also got the ones in the front one here and we've got the camera activated there. Going to put the car back into park. We've got a lovely nice square clock there. Lovely sound system. Was mold, is that right? Yeah, my... It's Jeremy Vine on BBC Radio 2. This is a digital unit here. Now we can go into navigation and then going back into the central controller. They've got radio, media, tel telephone, vehicle and we can go into different selections of what that may well allow us to do. Now I've got the heated seats on at the moment and the air scarf here. I've got the dual zone climate. The car shows no signs of having been smoked in and of course this is the central controller for the roof and you can drop all the windows simultaneously by operating this, this button here. Cruise control and also electric steering column and that's linked to the electric door mirror memory and the seat memory as well. I'll turn the engine off and we'll have a quick look at the paperwork. And by the way, it's keyless start as well as keyless entry. We've got two sets of keys. And another thing I just remember, this has got tire assist plus, so it's got the tire pressure monitor system on it as well. We have the registration document that's showing the car has only had three former keepers from new, registered on the 28th of June, 2016, as a Mercedes E220 AMG line edition premium D that's diesel A automatic. It's 133 grams per kilometer, so it's pretty tasty in terms of the road tax department. We have got an HBI report here showing the car to be HBI checked and clear, and an MOT which it currently expires on the 5th of September 2024, so it's likely not we'll put a 12 month MOT on it for when the car goes out. We have got a, a very good service history here. I won't bore you with all the details. It's not a full Mercedes service history, it's part and part. So it's part uh, Mercedes and part not. Um, last service by us at the point when it actually gets sold. And let's go and have a quick look under the bonnet. And there it is, that's that 2.2 litre diesel engine mated of course to the automatic gearbox. So you can get them on this telephone number running across the bottom of the screen here, also on Facebook and Instagram as well. We can arrange finance, so don't hesitate to come down, see it and drive it. And all remains for me to do now is thank you very much for watching.